you're into ranged and spellcasters and want to play the best of them in PvP, these are the top 5 best performing ranged and caster specs for PvP in World of Warcraft Cataclysm, including how good their damage and healing in PvP is, their defensives and crowd control, how they perform in different PvP brackets and situations, and the best arena comps for each spec. In no particular order, starting off with the mage. The only class on the list which actually has two extremely powerful specs for PvP, Fire and Frost. Fire's damage is more about RNG, while Frost is more controlled and regular. Oftentimes all that makes you win or lose a game as Fire is if you can land a really powerful combustion and ideally also spread it out on multiple enemies. Fire has some of the best AoE damage potentials in Cataclysm PvP overall. Its single target damage is good but not amazing. It is mostly about burst damage and instant pyre blast procs. Frost on the other hand is one of the specs with better sustained damage and also one of the best single target bursts in the game, usually in combination of deep freeze plus frostbolt and ice lance, or even just freezing a target into a potential blanket silence if it's a class that could dispel the freeze, followed up by a frostbolt. Frost's AoE is very weak though. Mage specs have pretty much zero healing spells. Your evocation is a channeled spell that regenerates mana and hit points, and you also have the Conjure Food spell. It is the only food usable in the arena that can regenerate both your mana and HP, but it's obviously only usable outside of combat. Fire Mage also has Cauterize, which heals you on proc. It is my personal favorite defensive cooldown in the game, since it procs automatically at the time when you would have died otherwise, which leaves some room for mistakes. After Cauterize procs, your healer should have enough time to top you off afterwards, but it also leaves a damage overtime debuff on you for a couple seconds, which you usually want to get rid of using Ice Block right at the moment that Cauterize procs. Ice Block is then an amazingly powerful defensive cooldown for all mage specs, which prevents any incoming damage and makes you immune. Very similar to Paladin's Divine Shield, but with Ice Block you are unable to move or do anything. Then you have Ice Barrier and Mana Shield, which both prevent a lot of incoming damage on a pretty short cooldown. And your armors can improve either your damage, defense or crowd control. For instance, the Frost Armor is incredibly effective against melee opponents. Every time they hit you, be it from range or on melee, they get snared, which is extremely annoying. Mages have some of the best crowd control in the entire game. Polymorph aka Sheep, Ring of Frost Deep Freeze for Frost only, and Fire Blast Stun on proc and Dragon's Breath, which only the Fire spec has. Then you of course have a few freezing spells, especially in the Frost spec, Decent Mobility, Blink spell that teleports you and also removes any stun effects from you, and Blazing Speed proc and Fire spec, which gives you a speed boost and removes snares from you. As the damage section suggested, due to its amazing AoE damage, Fire Mage excels in 3v3 and Battlegrounds, but it's also really good in 1v1, World PvP and 2v2. Frost is not so amazing in 3v3 or BGs, but it's extremely good in 1v1, countering any melee class in 2v2. Fire is oftentimes played with many PV items and a healer in 2v2, Holy Paladin, Resto Shaman or Disc Priest, but is also really good in double DPS with a Rogue, Feral or Red Paladin. In 3v3 you can play a Spell Cleave with an Affliction Warlock or Shadow Priest, you can also play with Subtlety Rogue, Feral Druid, but even other classes could work pretty well with you. Frost has a wide range of viable arena compositions for 2v2. Some of the most iconic are Mage Rogue, Discipline Priest, Shadow Priest, you could also play with a Retribution Paladin, not so many top options in 3v3 though. RMP, Rogue Mage Priest, is gonna be your best option by far. There's many comps and classes you could play with, but none comes even close to RMP for Frost Mages. Marksmanship Hunter is another one of the best range classes, and actually the best range class and spec on Cataclysm in my opinion. It doesn't need to worry about getting interrupted and spell locked, it has an insane variety of crowd control abilities and unbelievable burst damage. His single target damage is one of the best in the game, and even his sustained DPS isn't bad. He lacks AoE though. He has Dead Rinse to prevent damage, which can also be reset by using Readiness, so you can use Dead Rinse twice, similar to Rapid Fire, Hunter's Burst cooldown, which also gets reset among other abilities. A little bit of healing through Chimera Shot, but that's about all you have as a Marksmanship Hunter. Your crowd control definitely helps a lot with surviving. 
a number of traps including snake trap for root and freezing trap or frost trap. Pack crowd control, usually monkey blind is used in PvP, scattershot, disorient and you also have a 5 second slow on a 5 second cooldown for single target. All of this CC is in a very short cooldown too, so you can use it rather often. And you can also be invisible using camouflage. You have a cool mobility cooldown disengage that makes you jump backwards. Marksmanship Hunter is one of the best classes for 1v1, amazing in world PvP, the king of low level BGs, but also the number one killer and sniper in Battlegrounds overall. Always welcome in Battleground groups, whether for his pet buffs, defending bases or just straight up killing people. One of the best in 2v2, usually rank 1 and there's a good chance you will see a hunter in like every other 2v2 team. And amazing in 3v3 as well. So many arena comps a hunter can play. In 2v2 with a subtlety rogue, red paladin or feral druid, all these three absolutely rank 1 viable, but also with a disciplined priest if you prefer playing with a healer. In 3v3 with Rogue, Hunter, Red, Feral, Arms Warrior, Unholy DK and add a healer of your choice, pretty much any good healer spec will work fine. These three last class spec combinations have a lot in common. They all really shine in 3v3 and Battlegrounds due to their amazing AoE damage but not so much in 1v1 and 2v2 where they only have one or two viable comps and even then not very competitive. The first one is Balanced Raid. As a hybrid spec, it packs a lot of defensive and healing abilities. Its single target damage is okay, but the AoE damage with the dots that are instant cast is unbelievable. It's not a bursty class, it relies on damage over time for the most part. It has an incredible off healing, rejuvenation, regrowth, life bloom, all the basic healing abilities. Combine that with top notch mobility, running around pillars and healing yourself with mushrooms snaring your opponents and you're golden. Frenzied regeneration in Bear is a must of course. Bear itself with no cooldown is the best sustained defensive in the game. Also Bark Skin and then your immense crowd control toolkit with Cyclones, Roots, Pounce and Bash stuns, and even a knockback for some extra fun in battlegrounds like Arathi Basin's Lumber Mill or Eye of the Storm near the edges to knock enemies off the map. As I said, it's not amazing but still totally viable in 1v1. You will have to play balance really well to take advantage of its toolkit, great for world pvp, being invisible in prowl and choosing your fights. I haven't really seen balanced druids in 2v2, everybody just rolls feral. But still if played correctly, I think it could do very well with a rogue that would peel for him or even retribution paladin. I've seen balance played with demo warlock, fun comp, very good against certain classes but since there is no dispel protection. It would suck against any healer comp. One of the best for 3v3, spell cleaves with affliction warlocks, fire mage are extremely popular, even shadow priest or unholy dk and topping the dps meters in bgs every single time. Just apply your two dots to every target and see your enemies melt in front of your eyes. Elemental shaman is extremely similar to balanced druid, unbelievable aoe damage sustained with chain lightning spam, you don't even need to swap targets at all. The easiest rotation to becoming a BG hero ever. However, Ellie also has great single target damage and unreal on demand single target burst. If you see Shaman pop elemental mastery, you know you need to press your defensive cooldowns right at that moment, otherwise the instant level burst gonna delete you. Also a hybrid class so you're packing some nice off healing, the problem is other than your healing stream totem, all your healing spells need to be cast which can be quite difficult in PvP. You have decent mobility in Ghost Wolf, so you might be able to line of sight in case of need if you also snare your target with Frost Choke or with Totem. You lack any good defensives, so if the enemy wants to one-shot someone, you will be the ideal target. You also have a knockback, even more powerful than that of Balanced Druid, so you can have a lot of fun with that. You are still decent in 1v1. There are classes you will probably never beat, but also somewhere you can put on a good fight and even beat them. In 2v2 you could play with a subtlety rogue who can peel for you and not let you die, maybe a retribution paladin, disc priest or demo warlock, much like was the case with balance, but there is a very little chance you would see Ellie shamans at the top of the leaderboards in 2v2. 3v3 is a different story. Elemental dominates this bracket. Get a rogue, feral, affliction warlock or fire mage, 
combine it with a healer other than Resto Shaman, and you might go all the way to rank 1, no joke. In Battlegrounds, as I said at the beginning, you will be at the top with damage along with Fire Mages, Balance Druids, and Affliction Warlocks. But while they have to switch targets every few seconds, you're just chilling there, spamming Chain of Lightning on whoever. And the final class on the list is the Affliction Warlock. Probably the worst burst damage ever, but one of the best sustained damagers, especially better the more enemies you're facing. You have very little healing, mostly with your drain life, pretty much zero defensives, but you have your teleport, which can save you in crucial times. Other than that, you also have the worst mobility in the game. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have just made it a top 4 list. No, because now, the part where Warlock Shine comes. Crowd Control. Fear Spam, Instant AoE Fear, Death Coil, Silence, Shadow Flame Slow, but honestly, just the Fear Spam, if you use that spell efficiently, it's unreal good. Affliction is decent 1v1, but it has its counters where it's pretty much guaranteed they won't beat it. Lackluster in 2v2, usually played with a bulky healer, such as Holy Paladin, Resto Shaman or Resto Druid, for endless arena games ending in a draw, but also playable with a good subtlety rogue that can keep you alive. But I don't think there's gonna be many rogues that will want to play with you, unfortunately. In 3v3, get some space for a gladiator title. Play with a subtlety rogue, feral druid, fire mage, shadow priest, unholy DK, elemental shaman, warrior, plus one of the healers from 2v2, and you can dominate easily. Another top AoE DPSer that deserves a spot in any BG group. And just one more honorable mention because it barely didn't make the cut for top 5, Shadow Priest. It's been nerfed since Wrath of the Lich King, but it would be in the group of 3v3 and BG dominant classes, so if this was top 6, Shadow Priest would have been here, but it's no longer such a popular choice as it used to be previously. And that's it. These were my picks for the best range and caster classes in PvP on Cataclysm. Let me know how you see it, if you've ever seen a good balanced druid or Ellie shaman in 2v2 and what comp they played, I'd be interested to hear. Thanks for watching, see you in arena.